Hello friends, welcome to the video series specifically for Oracle Date Components and its related functionality. In the previous set of videos, we have seen about the minimum mandatory date component every Oracle developer should know. And in the next video, we have seen about the year component about YYYY and RRRR. So as a continuation of that, in this video, we are going to see specifically about the usage of round and trunk on the date data type and number data type. See, this round and trunk is one of the most used function and for most of the scenarios, we will be using this. So understanding this will definitely help in lot of real time use cases. So I'm just going to cover the usage of round and trunk for both number and date data type because this is an overloaded function which will behave differently based on the type of input you are passing. If you are passing input as a number, it will truncate around that particular number or if you have passed that input as a date value, then it will do the truncation around based on the time or based on the next parameter, whatever we are passing. So let us start with understanding the very basic difference with respect to round and trunk. And then we'll see a lot of examples with respect to date and the number data type. So the very basic difference between the round and trunk is trunk will do the truncation. It will not do the rounding portion, whereas the round will do the rounding. For example, suppose if I'm giving the input as like 12.5 truncate, what it will do, it will just cut whatever after the decimal portion and it will just give the output as 12. Whereas the round, it will try to check what is the next value after the decimal point or whatever the position after that place. So if it is greater than or equal to 5, then it will try to round it off. For example, since it is 12.5, it is rounding to 13. In this case, even if it is like 12.999, the output will be 12 only. So this is the very basic difference between the round and trunk. So with this understanding, we'll start into the behavior of round and trunk with respect to number data type. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take one very big number and then we are going to understand how the round and trunk will behave if we pass a positive number for the second parameter or the negative number for the second parameter. So, but before that, let us understand the positional name for each digit in this number. So let us start from the first digit left side of the decimal point that is one. The positional name for one is ones, ones position. Similarly, the second digit from the decimal point in the left side is called tens position. Similarly, the third is called hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousand, million, one, ten million and hundred million. Very similar to this, the number in the right side also has few names. For example, the first digit after the decimal point in the right side is called tenths position. Similarly, the next digit is called hundredths position. And the next one is like thousands and the next one is like ten thousands and the next one is called hundred thousands position. In fact, all these positions can be represented in terms of 10 to the power of a number. Anything that is in the left side, we will represent something like 10 to the power of positive number. For example, one's position will represent something like 10 to the power of zero. Ten's position will represent something like 10 to the power of one. Similarly, the numbers in the right side of the decimal position, we will uh, represent in terms of like 10 to the power of negative number. Otherwise, we will say 1 divided by 10 or 1 divided by 100, something like this. So now we'll start understanding how the trunk function will behave. Suppose if I'm using the trunk function, something like trunk of this particular number, comma 1. So whenever we are giving a positive number in the as a second parameter, then the truncation will happen on the right side to the decimal position. If we are giving a negative number in the second position, then the truncation will happen on the left side to the decimal point. So that is what we are going to see. So in this case, we are giving a positive value that is one. So the truncation will happen on the right side of the decimal point that to anything after one decimal point or anything after the first digit after decimal point will get truncated. So the output will be something like 987654321.1. So it will keep one decimal point or one decimal place. After that, the remaining will be truncated. Very similar to that, if we give two, it will retain two decimal point, remaining things will get truncated. 
If you give 3, it will retain 3 decimal positions and the remaining will get truncated. It will not check whether the value whatever it is going to truncate it, is it going to be less than 5 or greater than 5 or whatever. Irrespective of whatever the value after third position it will get truncated. Similarly, if you give 4, anything after 4th decimal point will get truncated. If you give few, anything after the 5th will get truncated. Anyway, here we have like maximum 5 decimal points only or maximum 5 numbers after the decimal position. Now, let us understand what happens if we give a negative number in the second position. So, suppose if I give 0, okay. So, 0 will truncate anything after decimal places. So, the default behavior is 0 only. If you are not giving any uh, second parameter as an input, then the default behavior will be 0 and anything after the decimal position will get truncated. So, in this case, the output will be 98765432,1. That means it is truncated to 1's position. Similarly, if we give something like minus 1 as the second parameter, then the number will get truncated to the tenth position. So in this case, the nearest tenth position is 20 or 30. Since it is truncation, always it will get truncated to 20. That's why the output will be 987654320. Suppose if you give input as like minus 2, so the minus 2 will get truncated to hundredth position. So if you see here, the nearest hundredth position is either 300 or 400. Since it is a truncation, it will get truncated to 300. Very similarly, if you give like minus 3, it will get truncated to the nearest thousands position. Like the nearest thousands position is like 4000 or 5000. Since it is a truncation, always it will, the output will be like 4000 very similar to this the rest of the things also will get truncated minus 4 will get truncated to nearest 10,000 position then the nearest 100,000 position then the nearest millions position then the nearest 10 millions position then the nearest 100 millions position so this is the behavior of trunk the round will follow exactly the same behavior the only difference is the round will always check the next number if the next number is greater than or equal to 5 then it will get rounded off to the immediate next number in this case since it is a truncation always it will get truncated to the lowest number so let us see the exactly the same example with round so in this case anything if you put more than uh, minus 8 it will always return 0 fine now let us see exactly the same example with respect to round function so in this case round of 1 so it will get rounded to 1 decimal point since the second digit is 3 anyway it is less than 5 so it is always 1 however when you give 2 as an input it will try to round off to 2 decimal point since in this case the third decimal point is greater than or equal to 5 the second position is getting added so this is the difference between the trunk and the round so very similarly if you give 3 we will get like 987654321.136 because the fourth digit is 7 here so whatever i ha highlighted here in yellow are the actual difference between the round and the trunk okay very similarly, if you try to round to four decimal places, we will get like 1358 because the fifth digit is 9. Anyway, when we are trying to round to five decimal places, nothing will get rounded because there are only five decimal points or five digits after the decimal position. Okay, now let us see the behavior with respect to negative number. Okay, anyway, like uh, when you are trying to round off to zero, it will get uh, try to round off to one's position. Since uh, the digit after point is point 0.1, the nearest to 1's position is like 1 or 2. Suppose if this, if this is something like point 0.5, then this would have rounded off to 3, 2, 2. The nearest position, that is 2. So now let us see the next behavior. If I give minus 1, it will get try to round off to the nearest tens position, either like 20 or 30. So in this case, we'll get rounded to 20 because this position is like 1 in case if it is like 2 9 then it will get rounded to 30 very similar to this i put minus 2 so obviously it will get rounded to 300 so in this case i put minus 3 it will get rounded to 400 now let us see the next thing when you put minus 4 
uh, in this case yes it will get uh, rounded to the nearest uh, 10,000 that is 50,000 so till here it is fine but when you put minus 5 you see the behavior so in this case since this is since this is like greater than or equal to 5 the 6 is actually rounded to 7 that is 100,000 instead of rounding to uh, 600,000 it is rounded to 700,000 because the next number is greater than or equal to 5. So this is the difference with respect to round and shrunk. So very similarly if we try to round off to million we will get a similar behavior and you can just try the same thing. So whatever I have highlighted here are the exact difference between the round and shrunk. So let me let me just try to put both these things in a single slide. Now you can see both the trunk behavior and round behavior in the same slide. If you af probably after watching this video, if you spend some five minutes practicing this example alone, I'm sure you will not have any doubts with respect to the round and trunk functionality and with respect to the number input. Fine, probably you can take a screenshot of this and you can just keep it as a reference and you can just try understanding the behavior fine so now let us start understanding the behavior of round and trunk with respect to the date data type okay so first let us take one specific date okay then we'll see how the round and trunk will get behave so i am taking an example here so i'm taking a particular date with time component so the date is like 16 jan 2021 like 3 30 45 pm so this is the date i have taken so when you put a trunk here, so basically what trunk will do here is this, the trunk on the date will behave very similar to the trunk on a number. In case of a number, it will truncate the decimal position. Very similar to this, In when we are passing a date, it will truncate the time component. That means it will reset the time component to the initial value. So it will reset back to the initial time of 12 a.m. So it will just remove the time portion and it will just return it. But the round will behave little bit differently. If it is in the first half, the date will be rounded to the same day. If the time component is in the second half, that particular date will be rounded to the next day. So let us see an example. So in this case, so here I have used the trunk. Suppose instead of that, if I am using a round here, see this now we are in 3 30 pm so since this time is in the second half of the day we will get output something like 70s 17th that means the date will be rounded to the next day suppose if we are giving an input something like uh, input time in the first half let us take an example instead of 3 30 pm i am giving the time as like 11 30 am so in this case it will be rounded to the same day. So the output will be 16th Jan and the time component will be 12 a.m. So this is the behavior. So in this case, we are not passing any other parameter. We are just passing only the date as the input. So very similar to the uh, behavior in case of a number data type, even uh, with respect to the date, we can pass few additional parameter here. So that's what we are going to see in the next example. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm just taking a, another uh, date like 20th may 2021 okay so now what i'm going to do as part of the round and trunk we can pass few parameters i told so the first parameter what we are going to do is we are just going to pass as a day as the parameter so when you are giving day as a parameter by default when you are not giving any parameter the round or truncation will happen on the time component but when you give a parameter, the behavior will change. So when you give the parameter as a day, then the trunk or round will try to truncate or round that particular date for that particular week. For example, in this case, I have given the date as a 20th. So truncation, what will always do is it will truncate this particular day for that week and it will return the first day of that week so in this case the first day of that week is 16th may so the output will be 16th may however round will try to round off if the particular day falls in the first half of the week it will return the starting day of that week if the input date is in the second half of the week round will give you the starting day of next week for example let us try to apply the round for the same date so in this case, I'm trying to apply the round instead of trunk. So what will happen is 
the round will try to round off and it will give you the starting day of next week instead of 16th it is giving 23 suppose for the round function if i am giving 19th as the input you see this here i am giving the 19th as the input so this 19th falls in the first half of the week that is from sunday to wednesday if the date falls between like sunday to wednesday then it will return the first day of the week so in this case the output will be 16th so this is the behavior with respect to trunk and round and if we pass the second parameter as a day now let us understand if we pass the second parameter as a month what will happen so the behavior is exactly very similar to the day input but when we pass the input as a month then it will try to round off to that month for example when you give truncate and month it will here is our date it will always return the first day of that month so in this case it will give first may 2021 similarly if you put a round the round what it will check based on the uh, range where this particular day falls in if this date falls in the first half of the month it will return the first may that is first day of that month otherwise this round will return first day of next month so in this case since 20th may falls in the second half of the month that is greater than or equal to 15 then the output will be something like first june suppose instead of uh, 20th may if we pass something like 15th may so anything less than or equal to 15 then it will return the first may any date that is greater than or equal to 16 then it will return the first day of next month so this is the behavior with respect to month very similar to this instead of month we can even pass the year as the uh, second parameter so when you pass the year as the second parameter the behavior is something like it will try to round off to the whole year so in this case the truncation will always truncate and it will return the first day of that year so the output will be first jan 2021 same thing uh, round will try to round off if if the input date falls in the first half of the year the round will return the first day of that year otherwise round will try to round off and return the first day of next year suppose if you are taking uh, the same example since the like 20th may falls in the first half the output will be first jan only suppose if i am taking a date something like first july then it, it since the first july 2021 falls in the second half of the year the output will be uh, first jan 2022 so this is the learning with respect to round and trunk functionality on number and date component so if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question as well practical question and concept videos if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id and thanks a lot for watching this video please click the bell icon if you want to receive instant notification whenever new videos are uploaded into this channel thank you